pogroms in the street resulted in the deaths of 402 people. The Hadith's forewarning of this matter say, There will be war cries in Shawal, war and slaughter in Dul Hija, pilgrims will be plundered in Dul Hija, much blood will be spilled and sacred things will be violated. There will be great sin right by the Kaaba. It is stressed in these hadiths that the events will happen not in the Kaaba, but near it. In fact, the incidents that took place in the month of Dul, Hija, Hijira 1407, during the Hajj season, were different to the first, as they took place next to the Kaaba and not inside it. The expression, there will be war and slaughter in Dul Hija, is worthy of note. The mention of this war and slaughter alongside the killing of the pilgrims shows that these incidents will happen in the same period of time. In fact, that period was one when the Iran-Iraq war broke out and the time of the worst fighting and chaos in southeast Turkey and the Middle East. A fire will enfold you. That fire is currently extinguished in the valley called Berehut. People will be enfolded in that fire with terrible suffering. That fire will burn and destroy people and belongings. For eight days it will rage over the world like wind and cloud. The heat of night will be fiercer than that of day. That fire will stretch from the heads of man to the highest heavens. And there will be a terrible noise like thunder between the earth and sky, he said. In the early 1990s, a disagreement between Iraq and Kuwait gave rise to a terrible war. The UN Peace Force intervened and there was fierce fighting. Some events that happened during this war were totally compatible with the Hadith. A fire will enfold you. That fire is currently extinguished in the valley called Berehut. What is lying extinguished is not fire itself, but a raw material that will give rise to fire. What may be being indicated here is petrol that comes from under the ground. In fact, the place called Berehut in the Hadith is the name of a well, an oil well. When the time comes, the petrol that comes out of these wells is like a fire that is waiting to burn. Many oil wells in Kuwait were set to fire during the Gulf War, and extraordinary images followed. People will be enfolded in that fire with terrible suffering. That fire will burn and destroy people and belongings. 
For eight days it will rage over the world like wind and cloud. The heat of night will be fiercer than that of day. That fire will stretch from the heads of man to the highest heavens, and there will be a terrible noise like a thunder between the earth and sky. Before the Mehdi, widespread slaughter will come to pass and great strife will be seen. There were two great world wars in the last century, and in these alone, 65 million people lost their lives. It is believed that the number of people killed for political reasons throughout the whole of the 20th century is more than 180 million. That is an extraordinarily high figure compared to the periods that had gone before. In addition, the most important feature of these wars and conflicts was mass slaughter in the manner described in the Hadith. Another Hadith draws particular attention to the fact that this slaughter will be aimed at the innocent. The Mehdi will not emerge until innocent people are slaughtered, and he will appear when the slaughter is finally unbearable on the earth and in the skies. The choosing of people who are unable to defend themselves in wars and ethnic conflicts is the reason why such conflicts are so widespread and why so many people have lost their lives in them. Terrorist attacks in recent times have also added to the slaughter. Terrorism aims at spreading fear and despair among people and with its attacks aimed directly at the civilian population, it has created the climate in which the words of the Hadith come about. Perhaps the very worst terrorist incident in world history was the September 11, 2001 attacks on New York and Washington. When we look at the outcomes of these attacks, we see a strong parallel with another of the Prophet's Hadiths. Dusty, smoky, dark strife will be seen, and others will follow this. It will be recalled that terrible clouds of smoke rose up as a result of the explosions caused by the crashing planes and that the plumes of smoke were tall enough to be seen from a very long way away. The buildings that collapsed as a result of the explosions caused an even larger dust cloud, covering people and the streets around in dust. The way that this incident, 
one of the worst terrorist attacks in history, happened at a time close to other portents and bore considerable similarities to the description given in the Hadith, means it may be regarded as another of the signs of the coming of the Mahdi. God knows best, of course. The inhabitants of Egypt and Sham would kill their ruler and his commands. A study of recent Egyptian history reveals that the prediction in the Hadith actually happened. Anwar Sadat, who took power in Egypt in 1970, was assassinated in 1981. In other words, right at the beginning of the 1400s, Hijira style. The word Sham, the original Arabic word used in the Hadith, is not only used to refer to Damascus. It means left in Arabic and has long been used to refer to those countries to the left of the Hijaz region. In fact, many leaders in the Sham region have been assassinated. 1920, Salah el-Din Betar, former president of Syria. 1921, Drubi Pasha, prime minister of Syria. 1949, Musin el-Barazi, Prime Minister of Syria. 1951, King Abdullah of Jordan. 1982, Lebanese Falange leader Bashir Gemayel. Pity poor Talikan, a region in Afghanistan that at that place are treasures of God. But these are not of gold and silver, but consist of people who have recognized God as they should have. The Soviet Union began occupying Afghanistan with a large military force in 1979. In other words, Hijira 1400. The Afghan fighters resisted the Soviet army, so many times more powerful than them, with all their might. During this war, which lasted for many years, thousands of Afghan villages were razed and tens of thousands of innocent people lost their lives. After the Soviet Union withdrew, Afghanistan became the scene of a bloody civil war. Fighting between the different groups led the country into total chaos. In short, in the same way as described in the Hadith, Afghanistan entered a period of civil war right at the beginning of the 1400s, Hijira style. <laughs> 